session KDE change session mm, yeah sure I like KDE better so this is KDE it is a very nice um, 3d desktop environment uh, control center okay appearance and themes background colors fonts icons So I'm going to apply the blue curve icon theme. No busy cursor. Apply. Splash screen. Widget style, okay. Now under here we can change to other stuff. High color classic looks quite nice. I'm going to look at the other stuff. KE classic, oh. That kind of looks like Windows. Blue, I'm going to leave it on blue curve. Theme manager. Sunshine. Hmm. There's a black pixel on that spot. So we've got the sunshine theme. Plastic? I kinda like this theme, oh my. That's actually, you know what? KDE Classic. Yeah, no. Let's just do Windows. No, ugh. What about this one? No, why is everything so large? Do this one. Um, style. Key classic. Ah, why is everything so big? I don't know. Hmm. This is KDE. Right now I'm trying to find the update, or where is it? Software updater. Retrieving update information. Oh, unable. Okay. Yum extender. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think I could update it. Repos. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can update it. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, log out. This is a very, um, very strange Linux distribution. I mean, well, maybe not strange, but just, I didn't really expect it. In the next video, I'm going to be looking at, um, the enterprise version of the, of this pro, of this uh, Linux distribution 
I'm letting you see the uh, shutdown screen because it has a lot of stuff. There we go. Now it's off. I'm going to save this and then install the Enterprise version. Now I'm probably not going to have the entire Enterprise version installation in the video itself because it's probably going to be pretty much the same thing. But just in case it's different, I'll show it. Five gigabytes. Oh my, that's a large uh, file. Okay, input, turn off mouse integration, release note, release notes are missing! Goody! That's, um, oh, I really hope that it'll install. Yeah, remove Linux parti partitions. Yeah, remove it. Okay. America, New York. I'm gonna assume that this requires a six digit or six character password as well. The default installation of Startcom Enterprise Linux includes a set of minimal software. This is the smallest installation possible. What additional tasks would you like your system to include support for? Uh, KDE. Office and graphics. Software development. Administration tools. Yeah, that'll work. Adding additional one. Oh. Yeah. Mm, I don't know any of the other ones must be a valid repository I really don't know next so now it's checking dependencies and packages selected for installation so now it's going to begin the installation this is probably going to be the pretty much the same as the other the um other one the multimedia edition. Yay, now it's installed. Let's take a look at the devices. Okay, so it did remove it. Reboot. the menu but oh why did it print all that huh so it's actually grub 0 0.97 so apparently it's not grub 2 so we're gonna start oh wait what I wonder if this is going, yeah, this is going to have troubles, I have trouble. Hmm. Interesting. So it's attempt it attempted to kill the initialization. So let's try it again. Reset. Reset. Okay, so it's just going to boot itself. Oh this doesn't work, apparently. I don't know 
how I typed I7. I wonder if it's going to try doing anything. Hmm. Yeah, it, it doesn't work. That's too bad. Let's look at the machine settings. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Maybe the 64-bit version will work. I'll be right back and um, and I'll try installing the 64-bit version. Right-click on Start Com Linux, change other Linux to 64-bit storage. Choosing an image, Enterprise. Install or yeah, double click on it and enter. Okay, release notes they're missing. I really hope that it'll install this time. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of like uh. Windows. Okay, next. Removing all partitions, yes. Next. America, New York, that works. Next. So. KDE, Office, Software, and Administration Tools, that'll work. So, next. Next. There we go. Okay, now it's doing things. Now the reason why I decided to take a look at Startcom Linux is because I searched on YouTube for Startcom Linux and I didn't see any videos on it at all. So I decided, well, in English, there's probably some in another language that I don't really know about, but but I didn't see any videos on Startcom Linux in English. So I decided, why not take a look at it? Because people are probably wondering if they see Startcom in their um, SSL updates for Linux on their Linux distribution when they update it. Uh, they could see Startcom because Startcom provides SSL uh, services or something like that. I'm not really sure exactly, but they provide services for SSL or something and I discovered Startcom one time when I was updating my um, I think it was mono mono updated and um, on my Linux Mint installation and I was like what's Startcom that looks suspicious so I looked it up and it's actually a legitimate company and then I discovered that they actually had a Linux distribution so I decided to grab the Linux distribution and um, take a look at it sometime. So now I'm taking a look at it because nobody else did. And that's what YouTube is for, right? Right. But I'm actually quite surprised that nobody, literally nobody took a look at, at it. Well, maybe on other websites. Maybe other people did on other websites. I, I didn't look much further than just YouTube because I didn't want to be spoiled on what it looks like.
I really hope it'll install this time. Installing bootloader. Now it's gonna reboot, we gotta check to make sure that the uh, that there's nothing in the drive, that's good. Reboot. Now it's going to boot up and I really hope that it boots this time. Ah, oh, bummer. Oh this oh, this is different. Kernel alive, kernel, oh, oh nice. Oh wait, oh. Oh, so there's, hmm. So this thing has SE Linux. Okay, let's try this again. Eh. You know what, I don't wanna try this again. This was just an experiment to see if it would work, and apparently it didn't work. I still think it's quite strange that there was a theme called Sunshine. <laughs> yeah, it's it's too bad it didn't work, but if you want to take a look at their website, it's just startcom.org, linux.startcom.org. I'm just going to go right to their regular startcom dot org website. Oh, oh that's that's not gonna work. Delete enter. No, I yeah. Start com home. Okay, start com dot org, okay that that worked. This was the only picture that I've seen of start com on the desktop. It's too bad that they never released 5.0.5. .5. Be nice if they did, but they didn't. Eh. It's the Startcom certificate certification authority. That's what I saw and was like, hmm, what's that? So, be nice if it actually worked. It's too bad. Goodbye.